Welcome to Outlook 2010 Calendar Responses. This is Quick Tips Training and I'm Trainer Lori. First we're going to talk about when you send a calendar invitation. When you're creating an invitation that will be sent to a large group of people and you do not need or expect responses, then you'll want to go under the Appointment tab and look for Response Options. And you'll have two options, Request Responses and Allow New Time Proposals. If you check Request Responses to uncheck it, then it turns off both of them. You can turn off just the allow new time proposals on its own if you prefer. But this is good if you don't care about getting a response. You're just sending out the invitation. Come or don't come, it's up to you. You can also choose to set the time as free or tentative. For example, let's say that you're having a blood drive all day long and you just want people to have it in their calendar. You might want to set that as free time and then whenever they have time to go down and donate the blood, they can go down whenever they want to. So it's in their calendar, but it's set as free time so it won't uh, interfere with any other important business that they have to do. When you put in somebody's name, it may show up as out of office and uh, you can choose not to send it to them. For example, if they're out of the office for the date of the event, why would you want to go ahead and send it to them? So you uh, might want to just delete them at that point. If you want to know who accepted and who declined your event, then just click on tracking and view tracking status and you'll be able to see all the responses on the right side. Here's a great tip. To create a rule to have all your response emails automatically move to another folder in your inbox so your normal inbox doesn't get clogged up with all those responses. If you choose to cancel a meeting, it is a two-step process and some people don't fulfill the second step. First you would want to delete it from your calendar and when you do that it shows in the calendar but then it will open up and say, do you want to send a cancellation? And if you don't have anybody to send it to, then you don't need to send the cancellation. But um, the first step will delete it from your calendar. The second step will delete it from other people's calendars. All right, now let's say that we're receiving. We're not sending now, we're receiving the email request. And when you receive an email invitation, you, it will show up in your email as if it were in your calendar. And it always shows as tentative until you respond. You have three options to respond. Please choose one. If no one responds, the sender may cancel the event. If you did not respond, you will not be sent the cancellation. Remember I just showed you how to send the cancellation? Well, if they think, well, nobody's responded to this, they won't, you won't get that response, and guess what? You're going to think maybe it's still there, and it won't be there. So we're going to accept, but we have three options now, and we want to choose the right one. This is very confusing for a lot of people. In fact, so that some companies and organizations actually turn off the do not send a response so that you cannot use that one. Uh, we don't want to have to do that if we use it appropriately. So this is what it looks like. Let's say if I um, choose do not send a response, it goes from my email to my calendar. That means that it is accepted in my calendar, but the, res the person who sent the request does not know because it never went to their calendar. If I send the response now, then it will go from my calendar to their calendar and let them know. They will be able to see that tracking and that status of if I accept it or not. So you definitely want to hit send the response now. That is the preferred option. Sometimes though you want to send them an email, a little note saying, yes, I'm going to be there, but I'll be a few minutes late, something like that. And that way it actually goes to their email, not just to their calendar. And then they can read uh, what you have to say. So remember, our preferred response is send the response now. Accepting removes the email from the inbox and adds the event to your calendar. It works just the same way if you decline. You have the same three options, so make sure that you choose the appropriate one. Send the response now would be the best option. And declining removes the email from the inbox and the event from your calendar, so you won't see it at all once you've declined. A lot of people have two, three, or more devices, and so they might accept the request on one device, but then they get the email on another device and they decide to delete it. Well, if you delete it on the second device, it will cause the meeting to entirely disappear. <laughs> you don't want to do that. You want to make sure that you either accept on both or don't bother uh, responding at all on the second one. As long as you've accepted and you do not delete that email, you should be good.